guys, check out this view. Brighton Pier, absolute beauty. Welcome to this video, guys. If you are not subscribed, I am a musician and I'm about to go on tour for six months, pretending to be Mark Ronson in a bus. Today's Tuesday. I set off on a Thursday, which means I set off in nine days. So naturally, being this close, I'm locking off dates now with musicians. Those of you that are on the email thread, you've already received the emails saying that I'm coming your way and if you want to book a session to get in touch. We have 70 names on the list now. 70 people that have come forward and said I want to be involved in some way, shape or form. That's like absolute madness. Last week I was talking to you about merchandise. We're getting the t-shirts and we're getting the yellow bags. Slight sad news, the yellow bags aren't going to be available till the end of March but I'm hoping that the t-shirts will be. I hope, I'm hoping I'll have the t-shirts like next week. Keep your ears and eyes peeled for next week's video because I'm going to let you know about where they're going to be available. But what I do want to say is thank you so much for the response. I've always been nervous to do merchandise because I just never think anybody will buy it and because uh, I have the reason this time of doing merchandise to raise funds that can go back into the project and go back directly into the project and ultimately back to you guys and to community groups that I really bond with and connect with it just feels like I actually now have a reason to do merchandise and it's not just because I want to line my own pockets it's for a reason it's for the opposite cause and the fact that you guys have responded to that so openly I just wanted to say I'm really grateful so thank you a lot of you were so sad for me that I was selling my car last week. This is the car, really beautiful car. This is how many advert views I've had, but I've had no calls and no messages. I'm really confused. So if you know anybody that's looking for a car and a well looked after car, anyway, car situation is not looking good. We did a cover on the bus this week, guys. We actually made some music. It's felt like such a while whilst I've been planning everything, whilst I've been sorting the bus out and not being able to like, live and get in the flow of things. The music suffered a little bit recently, but I'm back in action. Myself and my friend Morgan, who I went to VidCon this weekend with, we sat down and we did this beautiful cover of a new Bruno Mars and Cardi B song called Please Me. Here's a snippet. Please me, baby, turn around and just tease me, baby. You know what I want and what I need, baby. full video of that is actually now uploaded on the channel as of yesterday. Right, you know what time it is. It's Instagram jam time. This is my favorite part of the show where I share a couple of your Instagrams. And this week I'm really excited because there's two women that have sent in their music and I'm so happy about that because I said a few posts back that I feel like it's been quite male heavy with the submissions so this is going to be a purely gal submission session and we're actually starting on YouTube today so uh, the submission was given to me on Instagram but it was a link to YouTube so I welcome you Donna Marie songs beautiful guitar work love it it's a pity that your party had to end And it was always so nice hanging with your friends What a nostalgic voice but now that the lights have come on Wow, Donna, thank you so much for sending that through. If you guys want to go listen to the rest of that song, because I did that to cut it short, uh, just search for Pity Party Donna Marie Songs on YouTube. I'm kind of hearing a bit of a Nora Jones. Donna, I don't know if you're a Nora Jones fan, comment down below, but I'm hearing a bit of a Nora Jones vibe, man. Nora Jones was like my ultimate childhood growing up. We always had her on at Christmas. All right, this next girl, she's called Grace. Her Instagram is, I believe, music, yeah, music Grace underscore P. She's actually from Brighton, so she'll be around here somewhere, pottering around. Hope you're having a good day, Grace. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. 
19 year old Grace. Big things coming your way, gal. Completely, this is what I love, it, like completely different voices, completely different styles, and I'm genuinely so excited to write with you both. I think we're actually, hopefully gonna meet up with Grace this week sometime just to say hi, and I don't know if that came up on the screen as the recording, but Dean, if you remember this Georgia Smith cover. Now that I am sober, I take back what I say. Dean's just messaged, we're meeting him today at four o'clock. He's just asked, is it still happening? So I need to definitely respond to that and say yes. So that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're getting excited now. Like I say, I am starting to book up the official times and dates that I'm gonna be meeting up with you guys. So if you haven't organized that already, if you haven't heard from me, pop me an email at teamatmadeontheroad.co.uk or you can message me on George Jasmine Holiday on Instagram. Subscribe if you haven't already. Take care, look after each other and remember, Never stop creating. Bye, guys.